There we go. We're in the game! We're live. We're live? We're live. Oh my god, we're live. We're live. We're live. Oh, whose or... mic is that? Yeah, everyone can hear you. Yeah, we're all hearing. Hi, Jesus. Hello. Everyone can hear us. We are all audible. Audibly awesome. <laughs> well, hello to everyone today. I yes. hope you're all having a wonderful day. I... Yeah, what he said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was messaging someone and my brain went blank. I was asking my friend if he wants a link to the stream. Oh my gosh. Go away. Yeah. I'm excited. We're doing Monster Pump again. Probably do like a short day. Because, you know. A short game. Because we're not going to go for a full game. There's no way. We don't need to read this. We've... Okay. We already uh, went through this intro like yeah, we did. five, six times. Yeah. Already, so. You're gonna speed run away for it. Just don't choose yellow because I need to be pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, you can be yellow pumpkin. Uh, yeah. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh god, I forgot about this part. <laughs> oh. Smart. Mm, oh. Gosh. Zephyr, your mic okay? It sounds like it's being tortured. Apparently. I feel sorry for it. Are there? Okay. Hopefully we can actually finally finish Monster Prom. I'm hoping we will do. Cause we've never like we finished Monster Prom, we've never gone around to ending Monster uh, Camp. This summer will be a good one. No. Who are you going for again? Me? No, I know who you're going for. I'm in Zephyr. Milo. 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 Harbinger of death. Wait. No. 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 I didn't want to click that. I don't want to be that. No. There we go. Yes, you Got do. It. Yeah. I, but I, I wanted to turn into um, pumpkin, though. I am the she. I am a she. Ready for the harvest. I like how me and Zephyr chose all capitals while Soul's the only one who chose not to. Um oh, I, I never realized it. Smarts and creativity. Uh Penguin mask. Um I think the I think the closest you're probably going to get is, uh, Crystal maybe Oh, yeah, smarts. And then, uh, I think those shoes are probably going to help you. Magma trekking? That's more cool, though. Um, what stats do you need? I need smarts, um, and creativity. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's what you need I for think, calculus to... I think, I think for creativity... Maybe the board game? The board game? Or the costume, maybe. Or the costume. I'll get the costume. Oh, charming! Smart I need that. Charm. I need smarts and charm. Um, and one more thing. Um, I'll take the fanfic. Oh, or the penguin mask. <laughs> I kind of just like the penguin mask. <laughs> I think the penguin mask gives you an alternate ending. If I remember correct. I'm guessing. But that could have just been from like Monster Prom 1. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't want to risk that. I'll get the fanfic. Smarts and fun. Okay. Oh, wait, I've been getting really into loom bands again. Something I liked when I was a kid. Why? I don't know. I just kind of like... I like fiddling with things. I just had fun. Oh. Break the ice oh, by yeah. doing something Break unexpected on the bus. 
I don't know which one would be her, honestly. Oh. Sighing loudly? She seems like a sigher. Yeah. And Milo's obviously selfies. Um. Updating your software. <laughs> Updating your software. Where's that? Where's that? Oh. Update your software. Yeah. Because I'm assuming, yeah. Thank you. The oh. steering contest is probably scored. Uh, we can skip this. We can skip this. We don't need to voice this part. Hey, girl. How you oh, doing? Zephyr. Ah, I'm dying. Okay, you can yeah, skip, skip. Mm. Calculus there! Yes. Okay, let's get into it so we can date. Um, sure. I would say let's not read everyone's dialogues, honestly, because that's probably where we also lose a lot of our time too, just reading everyone's. How would we not know? How would we know what's happening then? Uh, okay. You need some. She what? What does she have? She has smarts and boldness, right? No. What? What is she? That's what I'm looking up. What's her full name again? I don't know. Joy, something. I know her name is Joy. Just say, just search Joy Monster Camp. It's fine. There's only one character called Joy. You know, last night I made like another Loom Band bracelet that's like th Spyro themed because um, I was bored. I've just been like, I don't know, just grabbing my Loom Bands and just mm. making them. They're quick Smarts, and easy to make. Smarts, boldness, and charm. Smarts, boldness, and charm. So, oh, you have even rounds and all of them, so anyone really. Yeah, might as well just do smarts then. Smarts. Okay. You, hang... you can skip narrator, I guess. Me taking a Join walk. Scott. Hmm. Joy and Scott. Oh. Mm hmm. Scott, I'm trying to get a good shot at the extremely dead possum over there, but I can't get the focus quite right. Any ideas? Uh, what? Kojoy says, uh, you always gotta stay focused the whole game, even if you think that there might be a, bo a bone buried under the field. Does that help? A bone? What? Uh, oh, hi. Oh, S Scott, Scott and I are taking pictures for our photography class. Photography keeps me slightly distracted from the constant, never-ending stress of my world-saving duties. Photography! And I love taking pictures! <laughs> you, know that, uh, you know that feeling when someone pats your head for being a good boy? If you take a picture, you can rem remember forever instead of just 15 Ugh. minutes. What? What are you doing here, Sol? Uh, you're not by any chance. You're here to follow us around and try to get some, get one of us to sleep with you. How she know? <laughs> knows. She knows. I love. I eventually one of these days I need to try and romance Scott in this game. He's adorable. Especially since he's available. Since he's a romance option in all three of them. Yeah. He also doesn't require stats, unlike most characters. Yeah, he's like the easiest one, but he's also so adorable. That's why. Wait, we're doing photography. That's a phone. Phones don't take pictures, don't worry. It's an easy mistake to make. I'll get my camera focused with calculus all the time. <laughs> Your phone can indeed take photos. <laughs> Whoa, a phone can take a picture. And it can also make, take a call. I don't know that one thing could do two Let's things. Do it. So you're obviously some, some kind of photography expert. You gotta check out my technique and give me coach to tips to improve my form. 
game-changing tip for him. He just needs to press the big black shiny shutter button on the camera. That's up for he gets the game for sure. <gasps> Wait a second. Scott, have you not been pressing the shutter button? We've been out here for three hours. Goodness, no wonder you get in an incomplete on our last assignment. Gotten in I can't read. <laughs> Wait, so God, when you hit so the stupid. big I love him. button, I love him too. the camera actually takes the picture? Before, I was just politely asking the camera to take no! it. My mind is blown. <laughs> oh, what a dummy. Well, even I have to admit that that was a pretty helpful piece of advice. I'm almost convinced you're not just here to sleep with one of us. <laughs> almost. So, if you're really, if you're really such a fan of photography, surely you can give some pi some pointers too, right? Well, give me some pointers too, right? I'd love to learn from your expertise. Uh oh, Joy's uh. calling your bluff. <laughs> so, Saul, so, why don't you tell me what's your biggest photography secret? I cannot disclose photography's biggest secrets, Joy. I'd be betraying photography's trust. Okay, you know about the button take pictures, but what about this other secret button? This is a better pic- that Ew. sounds- I don't know. Hi, Raymond! I think I'll go with option two, because I think that's either smarts or creativity, which are two of my highest. I feel like- cause... Ooh. Kind of hard to say, yeah. Because, like, um... They both seem very creative, so... Yeah. Oh, very funny. Obviously, there's no secret button on every camera. You... I choked on my saliva. <coughs> oh, couldn't do that. <laughs> Literally, as I'm talking, some saliva just goes down my throat, and boom, I can't... Talk. Obviously, there's no secret button on every camera. You're clearly just saying dumb nonsense to try and impress us. You insist there is a secret button. Well, there's a secret button! Oh, I found the secret button! Oh my goodness, are you serious? Wait, no, do cameras have... Pro stats? Prostates. It's prostate. Prostate. <laughs> I'm happy I read it wrong. <laughs> uh, it's tickling, tickling technique. Joyce camera is still a little shy, and after a very mature discussion about boundaries, it opens up and reveals a secret. <laughs> Touchdown! Oh God. It was fun and kind of made me feel some strange new feelings. Hell yeah! Let's do the secret button photography. Whoa! Oh, someone's gonna fuck their camera. You, God, and Joy all take tons of pictures using the secret button on the camera due to the button's technological advantages. They come out awesome. Joy takes a picture of a tree, and the secret button refuses the, f th the photo with the smell of the tree itself. It's so metaphorical. Scott snaps a picture. Okay, they're just taking pictures. They're taking pictures of shit. Yeah. A horny a biologist. Joy, really makes it look like you. <laughs> That's the first thing I read. <laughs> they took a picture of, two, of, of you're a horny biologist. <laughs> wow, and wow, wow. And these photos are extra. Ex ex I, I can't read today. Ex 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 evocative. 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 Don't you think they're gorgeous? Ah. Yeah, and this is the first photo that I've ever taken that's been in focus and not a picture of my thumb. Hooray! Nice. Professor Aww. Lensbottom is going to be so proud of us. Thanks for your help, Soul, and thanks for your help, Secret Button. Oh, God. He's right. You were really helpful. Thanks. I underestimated you. And I'm sorry. I just was so quick to dismiss you at first. I can't believe it, but you were actually right. I'm not used to being so... Cop competent. Uh, 
photography oh, cool. dojo. Plus two smarts and one fun. Look at you. Oh my god, it's me. Hi. Um, um, uh, yeah, here. Creative. Mm. Charming. Charming. Uh, spin the bottle. Camp Royale. Spin the bottle. Uh, shoot sure, an arrow and a spleen. Little known fact people store excess charm in there. Nice. Wow. Plus two charm. Woo. Wow, nice clear skin. Later, you're wandering through camp looking for Milo, your fair. Just said you need to spend time comfortably <laughs> mortality. So hang out with the Reaper counts, right? <laughs> That's <Of course>. true. <laughs> oh hey. I'd love to chat, babe, but I've got a gig. Actually, why don't you come along? It's a lovely day for reaping, and you get the privilege of watching me work. Oh hell yeah, watching me lead a soul into the afterlife. That's gotta count as emotional reflection. You follow me to a rotating corpse where the soul awaits. Hello, rotating darling. rotting, Jesus. Hello, little soul. I'm Deaf, but you can just call me Milo. Here's the bad news. You're dead. But the good news, I'm going to take you to the afterlife. Let's go. You? Deaf? You've come for me, but first you must listen to my tale. Tis a tale of woe, of strife, of courtly ambitions. For I, I was a grand mister to the Mere King. Ugh. Another dead person with a tale. They always want to tell you a tale. People just don't respect a reaper's time nowadays, you know? Ugh, go ahead, I suppose. I served the venerable Murking as Grand Maester. Days ago, the Murking was attacked into sleep. I, I can survived, skip this. but became obsessed with the idea that the attack had been cool and killed me in the paranoia. Yada yada, killed by the coup d'etat. Hundred warriors. <laughs> the beast was a doggish so thing, and covered in his like, okay, okay, you dead, just go, let's And go. it's best in all of the Bird King's chamber, the room is positively drenched. Ew. Gross. Um, laughing, barking, having fun, mysterious spectre. Another mystery, and to this day I wonder if, wait, are you listening to me? I, not really. <laughs> oh, of course, I, I wasn't know. listening. That story was way beyond my attention span. I was just trying to figure out why I can't download your soul to my soul transporter app. Hmm. <gasps> That's weird. What if I change the set? Oh no. Oh god, no. This better not be what I think it is. Hey, Grandmaster, by any chance did you ever trade your soul to a demon? Jesus, don't trade your soul to a demon. Unless it's, you know, a hot demon. Oh yeah, if it's hot, then fair enough. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, this is me! That soul belongs to me, baby! Get ready for the eternity of Dahlia! For years, four years ago, I made a deal with that guy. He wore, he swore that I could have his soul when he died. For no price of four elf-themed pogs. You know, pogs? Remember pogs, you guys? <laughs> oh yes, it's all coming back to me now. Great to see you again, Dahlia. I forgot I traded away my soul, but I never forgot those bitchin' elf pogs. They were so sweet. Bah ha ha ha, nice is such nice pogs. I was entertained by them for like four weeks. <laughs> then the next trend came and I forgot about them and it was totally worth trading my soul. Chad, Jesus just popped in saying, to be fair, I would sell my soul to her too. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, the shenanigans. I can barely cope, Dahlia. I need you to relinquish this soul so I can take it to the afterlife. I refuse to let this affect my rating. Sorry, Milo. I traded four. I traded four whole pogs for that soul. I'm not giving it up unless you give me something better. I'm making a soul army, and he's gonna be my first soldier. I can't do deep voices. So Shit. It's just me. <laughs> Looks like Milo needs to wrestle the soul for Dahlia's demonic grip. Bargain with Dahlia and get a sex series for the recently deceased soul that they deserve. Yeah. Uh. About uh, twenty while I play little soul. <laughs> Make it rain pogs in here. <laughs> I mean, your highest is charm pog. and creativity. Oh, and fun. You're just not smart or bold. Wait, what's my stats? Uh, creativity is five. Mm. Um, I, I, I guess it's fifty-fifty. Fun! Yay! Oh. 
20 health pokes? Zephyr, you are se are you serious? It's a deal. <laughs> you grab your collection of health pokes out of your backpack, Dahlia snatches them and settle them for us on the Grand Mistress. So back to my Nice. Rules. Wonderful. Thanks for trading, Dahlia. I'm pleased as a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis. And I didn't realize that you were such a big elf fan. First off, fuck yeah, I'm a huge elf fan, but this was actually a financial investment. The Pug's black market is hella lucrative. Lucrative. Lucrative, yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't heard. There's a whole underground e econ economy that's extremely based off of Pug's. It is totally un 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 unregulated market and that's what makes it so fun and the specific type of pog is imported for determining its value out pogs are some of the highest value pogs out there uh, along with star trek the next generation star discs <coughs> i just breathed in rabbit fur she speaks a lot Oh my god, that's a lot of pogs. You can skip. She's just talking about pogs, man. There's just, there's just a lot of pogs. <laughs> Dahlia, you're an absolutely inspired trader. I couldn't listen. I could listen to you talk about the underground economies all day. This is basically ASMR to me. Uh, gotta go. Hell yeah, liquidate pogs, crypto, value of babies. I sincerely cannot believe how well you worked out. Let's finish this reaping gig, okay? My love pops the Grand Mesa soul into their Yves Saint, Saint Laurent to stole being taught. So oh, I do love a good Yves Saint Laurent. And you two enjoy a nice stroll while leading soul to the afterlife. Woo! Since you helped to finish this gig so quickly, you two take the extra time to sit on a cliff and hold hands. It's romantic air. Yeah. Ah, oh, cute! Mm, this atmosphere, it's calm, quiet, and beautiful. I can feel myself blooming, you know. I'm happy as a peony in spring, and the sunset is particularly emotional today. We should do a call Thanks for your help with the gig, Zephyr. Hi, SCP. I didn't know what I'd done without you if Dahlia had kept that soul, but you were there right when I needed you, weren't you? They're very helpful, Zephyr. Suddenly, Milo dramatically grabs your face and both hands to stare deep into your eyes. You can feel your soul quaking. Listen, Zephyr. I wouldn't trade your soul for all the alf pogs in the world. Aww. Oh, that That's was like the cutest bug. Oh, he got some You blow too hard, it gives two boldness and plus one smarts. Oh, interesting. Okay. Time to bring home the bacon. The bacon. Time to bring home the bacon. Time to bring home the bacon. I'm oh, bacon. Okay, I need smarts and creativity for a um, thing, but uh, soul's already in the smarts. Um, um, creativity I'll get some creativity. Oh, why do I always get that image? Oh. Every single time. Also, congrats on 482 subs. Thank you, SCP Deadman. Mr. Carlos doing great. Join the Discord. Um, like, subscribe, tell like, your friends. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, join the Discord. You know. Sorry, I was staring at Peter. He's getting cute. Okay, I don't want to talk about massacring my peoples. Yeah, you earned a badge. Well done. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Zephyr, you're. What? Yeah. Our heavens, uh, no. I have already planned out my own future for the next four thousand years. Robotic stitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am persuading this pamphlet. I am persuading this pamphlet because I am concerned <laughs> about the future of little Cassie Prickly Perry here. I think second realize that he's oh, afraid of his. Family. Oh, Han Moon's family. He's talking about his little cactus. That's sweet. Aw. Um. That is certainly what everyone says. But just because something has never happened before does not mean that it will never happen. That's true. Success. I am confident that Katie will be the first in her genus to finally break the glass ceiling of the greenhouse and achieve a fulfilling career. Mm -hmm. The only true obstacle is figuring out what career she is best suited for. I must confess, I am at the bed of a loss. 
A bit of a loss. Bit of a uh, loss. Playing along, you suggest that Lil K might be a good civic engineer. <clears throat> I considered that, but she simply isn't very good at math. Oh, Aww. same. <laughs> What about a politician? <laughs> uh, you don't have to do be uh, know much to be a politician. That's very true. I'd never let my little plant to be surrounded by so many unethical people. Fine, you relent. What about a surgeon? No good. Surgeons need funds. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, most of, uh, yeah, really, it's uh, uh, this really is uh, trickier than you thought. Uh, most because Carl can't, can't believe uh, takes so seriously. Still, you didn't get um, where you are today by not having a in infinite supply of dumb ideas. Yeah, that's true. Um, surely one of these two will work. Okay, some dumb ideas go. Okay, the cactus would. Uh would make a great pin Pinterest model for chic interior design photos. With the right education, this ca this cactus might someday become a high highly accomplished beverage. Ooh, no, that implies killing it. I do like a nice cactus in my, my Pinterest interior design photos. <laughs> yeah, I like the Pinterest one. I'll do that one. Which I'm starting to be creativity. So yeah. creative! Yay, awesome, this has been Detective. Zephyr. What an ambitious prospect. I have often admired the plants in those glamorous photographs. Oh my god, same Z's. Same Z's. But shell business is such a rarefied career. Do you really think little Katie has what it takes? Yes. Are you kidding? It, it's 100%. clear just how it look at her. Yeah, she has star power. He goes to Super Mario. Very well. I am convinced. But how will we get her started in the competitive world of interior design modeling? Competitive? Well, it's a plan. You know, just the guy. You unlock your phone and... Okay, I have a max green fr frond. I I have connections. We went to Los Angeles. They got thanks. some... Yeah. Oh, my circuits. Look at these rare reviews. Our little Katie is getting... The living room looked all right, but that cactus, wow, what charisma. <laughs> With all the sass and panache packed into that spiny green body, it is a wonder there is many room for the chlorophyll. Fuck couches, fuck tasteful arrangements of bespoke shelving, give me more cactus. Fuck me. Get on you, Katie. Yeah, <laughs> get on you, Katie. Oh, oh my vagina. Katie! <laughs> she plays the love interest in an art house romance film about a housewife <laughs> who falls in love with her boorish husband. Who falls out of love with her boorish husband and in love with the mysterious house cactus. It's called Ow, my vagina. <laughs> yeah, it would. Ow. Yeah, that would hurt. That would hurt. I mean, she's a bland vampire, so. That doesn't fucking matter. Uh, forgets where she came from in an interview with People Magazine when asked what her fondest memory is. Mm. She says, nothing because she's a fucking cactus and no amount of fame will ever change that. <laughs> I'm so glad that even with all this notoriety, Ouch. my little Katie has remained true to her roots. I feel such pride. You're so proud too. Normally your schemes are plus two charm and creativity. Wow, nice. you're like so creative. I needed some charm too, so that's great. And I need some creativity. Choose something good. See your choice out loud to just something good? Choose something good? Like just anything good? World like... peace? Adorable bunny rabbits licking your face. <laughs> Hi, yo yo! Soul? Soul? Is he alive? Oh, hey. yeah, Say no, something no, good. No, it's something good. Okay. Say something good. Say something good. I'm gonna take uh, water as your answer in a second. <laughs> sure, sure. Since I was chugging water right now. Yeah, we're gonna go for water. Yeah, we'll go for water. I think I'm getting a little sick, honestly. That's alright. 
Or, pl or, uh, player order is decided based on how badass a superpower based on that <laughs> good thing would be. Um, okay, I think world peace would be very good. World peace is such a fun power. Like, <laughs> yeah. My, you just, my power is going to cause world peace. Right? And, world peace. Yeah. Yeah, and souls is like water, which is kind of cool. Which is more practical than rabbits licking your face. <laughs> Also, to have rabbits just lick your face, so <laughs> it's like having dogs like just excitedly come and say hi. But more than well, peace. It's just like a little piece for you, a little piece for you, a you little piece for everyone. Need, you need some creativity. creativity. Go get yep. that creativity. In here, yeah. Let's yeah. Go take you. Monsters get you all learn how to build scarecrows. Oh my god! Yay! Uh, a magical magical crystal we found in this cave. Sentient. Oh Jesus! Sentient scarecrow. Sentient scarecrow. He's alive! He's alive! Uh, dis oh, I'm forced to dis disassemble, dis oh, dis disassemble him. Jesus. That's mean. Uh, begs you not to relinquish your gift of life, but your dedicated monster escape first. Oh. Oh, fuck. That's like, that's honestly kind of worse than, yeah, than just, making me carve a pumpkin. Please don't kill me. Please. At least I'm creative now. <laughs> I'm creative, but I murdered a scarecrow. <laughs> oh. Well, Milo appears, your heart starts speaking fast as another one of those dreams about Milo baking your loaf of bread in the French countryside. Oh, oh, you're daydreaming. Zephyr, I've been around looking for you, and now you're here in my clutches. Oh my god. And now that I've found you, I want to do me a favor. I've got a soul reaping gig today, and I could use a help <laughs> again. Again, again, bitch. He I just wants sure reasons to spend time dream. with you, you just crush him hard. The soul looks like a dope blue orb. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, I'm Death, but my friends call me Milo, let me be the first to say <laughs> congrats on shuffling off that pesky mortal coil. I have been expecting you, I assume you're here to lead me to the afterlife. I died for a few minutes when I was a child, so I'm somewhat familiar Strangular? with the intake process. Apparently. Apparently. Exactly. I love souls who have d died before, they're refreshingly chill. I'm going to ask you a few questions before we go first. State your name, please. I am Remedius Targaric, commander of the Murking's Guard. Another Murking says from Jesus. A knight of the Murvelm. Praise be the Murking. Did he die as well in the coup? Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Just to confirm that you're actually dead, how were you killed? Prepare thyself. Tis a terrifying story. I stood oh, many years Here in the Murking's go. council, Here but twas the Murking himself who killed me. Jesus fucking Christ! A fucking... Miranda, get your father in check. <laughs> One night, the Murking was attacked in his sleep. He survived, but became paranoid over the smaller council. Can... Thinking the attack was a coup, his paranoia led him to behead me with the most loyal knight. My God. But the Murking was wrong. Just before my just, death, I discovered the attack going. was orchestrated by an ancient order who had offered the terrible Ocarus history. <sighs> the Masters. Okay. Okay. So is this one just Milo, not like anyone else Aww. interacting? Wow. Yeah, it's just that like a lot. Milo. I'm just going to check the like death by Courtly and Tree. Hi, Fantasy. Also, Raymond, yes, it hurts. And taxes. mortality checks to qualify your afterlife destination. Congrats! Which afterlife would you like to be taken to? There are infinite afterlives that you can choose from. So really, the only limit here is your own destination. Oh, that's so poetic. I love my job. Oh, brother, I'm rather unsure. I enjoy pudding, so perhaps some kind of dairy, or rather, maybe an orgy. That's so cliche. God, what? let me think for a moment. I, have a thing, so... I realize that you're literally contemplating infinity here, but please hurry this up. I have very strict posting schedule to get back to. My followers need consistency, babe. Looks like my love's getting impatient. I'm super impatient right now, lol. <laughs> Quick suggestion, afterlife option. Oh, orgy! <laughs> Archie, yeah. <laughs> Big farm update. Uh, with plenty of room to run. Um, that sounds boring. If um, you recollect enough karma points, you can redeem them to get reincarnated like as a sentient burrito or a K pop star. <laughs> What's oh my, my stats? Um, I feel like the K pop star bottom one is like, more creative, mm -hmm. which is like, my best stat. Yeah. 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 My lovely assistant Zephyr is right. If we count your cover points and you got Carito, okay, pop star. Reincarnation sounds amazing. 
I feel like I could get really good at life if I give it just one more try. Anyway, of course, the K-pop star, star reincarnation package it is for one of our most coveted second lines. Your travel around the world is at the highest high notes. <gasps> And despite everything you give up for the stage, I can guarantee that your mass of devoted fans will make it all worthwhile. Ooh. Dreamy, right? That sounds like an ideal reincarnation. I can basically guarantee that I'm going to pick that option. You'd have to be an idiot not to choose that. But tell me more about this burrito thing. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, sure. Nobody Wait, ever why do you go from Dracula package? to, like, fucking Mexican hottie? <laughs> If you become a sentient burrito, you can like choose which protein corazon. filling you have. Save me corazon! Save me corazon! Save me No extra cost. <laughs> I have one very, very important question. Can I eat myself? <laughs> Let me check the fine print. Ah, yes, you can eat yourself, but you will also feel real pain if someone else eats you. God, that's awful. I assume you're going to make me a fucking chorizo burrito. <gasps> wow. You can't be serious. Think about what you're saying. A burrito's existence is like full of pain and suffering. I died when I was really craving Taco Bell. All right, get off my dick. <laughs> Make me a burrito. It was not a fetish thing. Oh fuck it, chase your bliss, babe. Says so his finger, faded light, happy ho. Mm. Burrito time. Finally, God give me one. Took forever to deal with, but you really helped me with a song. I start being my little helper, Zephyr. Aren't you adorable? Oh, I passed my head. Ah! Leah, that night you pull your side. Hey, since you were like so helpful today, I got you a little. Oh. Oh. A, a dinner, dinner plate holding a juicy, delicious-looking. Oh. That's the guy, isn't it? He gets the guy. Yep, it's that burrito. I pulled a few strings up for a little dinner date, Zephyr. I mean, you and Mila I take it. Burrito. <laughs> He screams the whole time, but it's still pretty romantic. Also, you learn that consuming merfolk soul earns you plus two charm and plus one smarts. Oh my god. Okay. Awesome. Go. That was like such you a You need some rage. boldness. Look at that boldness. Only five. Soul. Yeah, the, I, for, I forget if, jo, if she boldness or not. Oh yeah, no, she is. She is yeah, boldness. She is. Yeah, and where's boldness? She, again? Boldness is the haunted house. Yeah. Hey. There's just too many. <clears throat> too many. Beanie oh, baby, beanie years baby. ago. Ooh, beanie babies. Oh, Yay. I still have some of my beanie babies. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was back. Oh, what's up, bitch? How you doing? <clears throat> Let me take a sip of my drink. The world is at risk again. Again? Fucking ailment. Okay, Milo. So, I need your help making sure this binding circle doesn't break. Otherwise, spirits could escape and terrorize humanity forever. I'm not doing her voice right correctly, I don't know why. Yes, of course, darling. We'd never let that happen. If the haunted manor becomes possessed by a malevolent spirit, horrible things would happen. Hashtag For example, I can't post that lovely selfie I took by the entrance with the caption, Hashtag blessed. It would be in, like, such poor taste. True. 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 <laughs> we want to get cancelled. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a co- uh, that it's an employee at a- at a- at a- I- I- I am one of them. So, I've got a large pepperoni pizza for you three. Or four, I guess. Two, three, and a half. What's with the dude in the middle with the pent- of the pentagram? Pizza? A pizza? I never got a pizza. I hate delivery food of a passion. That's not vegan yeah, for me. Yeah, it's definitely not for me either. Vegans don't eat pepperoni pizza. And we're also in the middle of a something very important. And if you rain and if you rain on my concentration ruin my concentration, ruin. sorry, I can't read you. Oh. Ah, uh, dudes, I'm sure the pizza's for you. I've got the address right here. Clear as day. Mysterious, dilapidated, haunted banner in the heart of the woods. How on earth did you find this place with such, with such, with such vague instructions? <laughs> I couldn't say vague for a second. <clears throat> I heard far and wide because I'm motivated by one thing and one thing only. Tip money, which I'll be needing you to give me for before I have before I can leave. 
But it's not our pizza. Be gone, darling, before I leave an incredibly scathing Yelp review. No. No. Hi, Momo. No. <laughs> oh, the face. I just yeah, I, that's why I said hi, Momo. <laughs> no can do. Can't go back to work without money for the pizza. You're stuck with me until one of you ponies up. Ah, back. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Okay. Uh, I go won't on. leave any time soon, and their presence is messing with Joy's concentration on the exorcism. What can you give in to? This is definitely not your pizza. Check the pace. Pizza's Facebook profile. The true owner of the pizza will surely be. That's stupid. <laughs> uh, this pizza doesn't belong to us. It belongs to Earth. It came from the Earth. It should go back to it. They're both kind of stupid. <laughs> Good luck, Soul. But are they smart yeah. or are they creative? Yeah, I mean... Or are they bold? One... I mean, the top one could definitely be smart or bold. The bottom one would be creative and fun, most likely. So Ooh, I'd say the top creative. one. Seriously? Yeah. Well, that that's just ridiculous. It's a pizza, Sol. There's no way it has a... Hey, darling. Please, darling. Everyone has a Facebook profile left over from 2012, even if they don't want to admit it. That's true. Here's the pizzas. Hi, oh, Milkman. that's actually quite interesting. It appears that the pizza's likes includes tailgating and going to children's birthday parties. What? That's weird. It's also interested in feminism, Italian cinema, and is a polyamorous relationship for a box of garlic knots. What? Yeah, oh, what? Yeah. No way. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It has a photo album and of its cruise from Silsi to Unor New York. <laughs> it's a New York New York. Sicily. Sil 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 Sicily. Sicily. Sis 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 Sicily. Sounds like oh. mint. It sounds like Minty's like stuck on a record, like I, sis, sis, I, a speech impediment might <laughs> can't help it. <laughs> oh, wait, read this most recent post. Today I have achieved my dream. Someone finally purchased me for con con cons consumption. Consumption. I can't wait to meet the one who's going to eat me. This is my life's purpose to appease someone with my delicious cheesy goodness. Wow. Do not weep for me, friends. I have lied a full- I have lived a full life, and I have no regrets onward to the great beyond. That's actually kind of... heartwarming. Okay, that was not bad. Also, the pizza's order is tagged on- on the post. Apparently, he's an... in- How do you say that, Zephyr? Itinerant? Itinerant. Intinerant hobgob uh, hobgoblin who loves haunted houses, delivery pe delivery pizza, and competitive knitting. Life is a gift. Thank you, Raymond. You know, I often find that we forget that everyone and everything has much more to them if you take the time to learn about them. We should all take time to learn more about each other and consider that every person and pizza. Is living a rich inner life, one okay. that we must cherish and. What? Mm. You hear a toy flush? flush? Oh, oh, he's oh, there! He's <laughs> never seen before. Talk, walks out of the bathroom and sees you all talking. My pizza's here, here's your money. Keep the okay, change. Bye. Sick. Bye. That was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> he did all um, okay. he knocked you all and walked off to continue his knitting uh, practice. Um, <laughs> well, okay then. And this moment feels less beautiful now. When life gives you lemons. Well, life and no. I'm uninterested. <laughs> now that there's nothing heartwarming happening, let's just finish this exorcism. Yay. Two fun, one charm. Yay. Nice. Six six six. Six six six. Six six six. Um, you need charm. I do. I need um smarts. Into the woods we go. Thank you. 
Uh, I found beetroot. Too smart. And ginger. And ginger. Hey, hello again. Hello, honey. Why are these showing up everywhere? <laughs> I'll be. Uh, I will be right back. By the way, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I have to make a quick phone call, so I will be right back. That's all right. Okay, no worries. Um, oh Jesus, Milo. You're gonna have two characters to read. I'm so sorry. Unless you want me to read um, Calculester for you. You can if you want. I, I don't mind. Yeah, because then at least you're not reading two people at once. <laughs> for the whole scene. <laughs> ah, I he said his good. name. He said his name. It's Milo. <laughs> he fucking finally Milo. said his name. Finally. <laughs> I adore the words. Don't they make you want to meander a little? Here, Mincy, take my picture while I pretend to be lost among the trees. <laughs> this is something that you do to me. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Milo, Milo, it has been so helpful to observe your behavior. Based off my observations, in order to better enjoy life, I need to meander spontaneously. Roughly, eight... 833% more efficient. Suddenly a terrifying old lady Oh, so I gotta do Baba Yaga again. He's a Baba Yaga. <laughs> Brah. 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 <laughs> oh. What did I do? I did a Russian accent for it, didn't I? Privet. I have caught you, yeah, you naughty like children. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fairly. It's far more Italian, actually. <laughs> You're doing more Transylvanian, you're not proper. Yes, yes, it's Italian. It's an accent. It's more Italiano, but you know. <laughs> not children. I'm just gonna be Italian, because I can do Italian accent just fine. Can't do Russian for the life of me. Look at you, you little slap. Just wandering left and right like you own the place. Are these words your house or something? Oh, what a good question, I suppose. In a way... All beautiful places feel like home to me. So yes, this forest is our house, metaphorically. Uh, right. So you naughty children do actually do live in the woods. Uh, since I also live in the woods, that technically makes us neighbors. And since we're neighbors, it's your duty to cat sit for- Oh, I remember this. She wants us to cat sit for her. Yeah. Cat sit for me while I'm on vacation. I'm going to a convention for children eating enthusiasts. <laughs> and someone must care for Mr. Beanzo. Baba Yaga pulls out a big fluffy cat. Yay. Well, I am programmed to be a friendly neighbor just to confirm that this task is within my capabilities. How long do will you be gone? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It could be two hours, it could be two years. Goodbye, not children. I just make her an adorable yeah, Italian yeah, woman. Gone. What the fuck? <laughs> She's gone and Calculus is still standing with a cat. I just make her an, an adorable Italian lady instead of a Russian <laughs> mythology. I don't even have a Russian accent. I'm fucking bad at it. You must do Russian. Yeah. Do Russian. If I start as a Privet, I go in for an Italian accent. It's <laughs> called Privet. Also, I can, like, I roll my R's really well, which is why I go into Italian too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I used to, like, you remember when I told you, like, years ago, when I, we have time because Soul's taking a um, call, but I um, remember yeah. years ago when I used to play, well, not play, watch Italia a ton. Um, and I yeah. adored Italia. I still like it. I still love the anime. I just don't watch it that much anymore. But I used to try, I used to constantly go, Big Bro Romano. Big Bro Romano. <laughs> just Im Im imitating, Italia. like, Chibi Italia's voice. Big Bro Romano. Big Bro Romano. Only reason, only, re only reason I can do Italian accent is because I used to go, Big Bro Romano. Si. Si Italiano. It's a me and Mario. It's a me. It's a me a Mario. That's also a reason. <laughs> uh, Final series events very stressful. Cats are such anamic fellow flight forms. I barely have any knowledge on how to care for them. I am a. Am I holding Mr. Beanzo correctly? Yes. Oh, don't worry, your little middle head. Cats are easy to take care of. We just need to, uh, 
Respect the cat's emotions, be good listeners, and never go to bed angry. Obviously. Uh, That's more like a married couple, but sure, Milo, that works. I just ran that statement through my meaning deck... Uh, Dictation algorithm and it's returning numerous errors. Can you care f uh, clarify how to properly take care of Beanzo? Ugh. Ugh, fine. You caught me. I don't know anything about cats besides the fact that they drive huge views to video content. But I have no idea how to take care, keep them alive or whatever. It's easy. Just feed them and pet them. Give them water. They're happy. That's what I do with my cats. <laughs> And if you see something coming out of their bum, they need to be having a deworming count tablet. There you go. <laughs> uh, my cat keeps trying to eat something outside, and she and we end up on giving her deworming times constantly, and it's like, oh god, not again, Binks. <laughs> Bia starts meowing over and over again. What the hell? Oh, poor little Mr. Binzo. You must be hungry or angry, and maybe he's depressed. Is it on we? What do we do? Oh, Mr. Beanzo. Is he bored? Ennui? Where's, that Where's that accent going? Boy, 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 just say bored. You don't have to say ennui. You fancy ass. But it's ennui is Trying different. to be fucking... Trying to be fucking... What do you mean? It's bored. And it's more like a boredom to the set point of, like, lacking desire to do anything. Like, it's like borderline depression. Oh. Yeah, they just it's like boredom to depressed. the extreme. He just said depressed, though. He just said, are you depressed or very depressed? <laughs> okay, uh, shit, uh, shit, uh, you're out of time. Make your mind, quick. What the fuck does that this cat want? Mr. Beanzo is meowing to assert his dominance. <laughs> he must show the cat what we recognize is authority as alpha. Bow to Mr. Beanzo. Mr. Beanzo just wants, um... Wants what all cats want to drive a bitchin' Ferrari. <laughs> mm, I don't have honestly, good boldness. I, can see it going away. I don't have good boldness, so it's definitely not the Ferrari. Oh, yeah. I have free boldness. Um, I would I say have, bow to Beanzo, because that's kind of like fun and also kind of creative and charming. Because as long as it's not bold, I'm, I'm fucked, basically. Bold or fun? Bold or fun. I would... But like, the Ferrari could be creative. Soul, I cannot hear you. Boldness. One second. I, I can barely hear Soul. Soul? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. Uh, I would say maybe the second one? The Ferrari one? Yeah, but I don't have... I'm no, not that sure. That bold, though. That sounds bold, and I have free bold. It's either bold or creative. Which is like opposite ends of the spectrum, but yeah. I mean, yeah, the I'm, the bowing bold, sounds it? very. No, it sounds funny. It sounds like you're being silly. Are my options fun or bold? Are we serious? We don't even have any of the ones I actually have. Um. I don't know. Just go with your gut. My gut says walk away. <laughs> Mr. B just wants all oh well I had to drive in a bitch in Ferrari. I feel like Ferrari might be fun though. Just go with your gut at this point. Yeah, I'ma say Ferrari. Not fun. Ooh, I don't so have fun. very I don't have fun bonus. Fuck off! Oh, that does not make any sense. Shut up! <laughs> Minty, Calculester and I were trying to hold off Mr. Binzo. You go get the Ferrari and get back here before this cat has a mental breakdown. You got the Ferrari, uh, store and use all your tuition money. Tuition money? Did you run? Oh, great. Brandy Ferrari, back in the woods, calculate Jesse Plinson's <laughs> driver's seat. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Binzo is still meowing. He. he... His mood does not seem to have improved at all. I am certain that we are doing so wrong. I don't know what he was! I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe the cat wasn't meowing for he wanted to drive a Ferrari? Maybe Ferraris are not compatible with Mr. Bean's personality brand. I hate it. When you don't have high something, you just get the worst. Ah! I need to get more, like, fucking fun and create and boldness. He just stole your new Ferrari. It's a cat 
getting stole by Ferrari? <laughs> How does that make you feel? You spent all your tuition money on. Exactly what Calculus just said. Screaming. <laughs> I was gonna say, was that him? Yeah. That noise? He Jesus. makes that noise. <laughs> Okay. Wally when he's screaming. We're subpar neighbors. I can't be seen with you. And I can't be associated with another Ferrari domestic cat slash motorcycle vehicle theft scandal. That's another thing. Oh my god. Oh, Raha. Oh, yeah, goes back. Uh, did you miss me? Caught naughty children. It is me, the Baba Yaga, returning from my convention. <laughs> there, where is my kitty cat? Uh, give him, give him to me at once. Mm. I am literally. Incapable of deception, so Mr. Beanzo committed Grand Theft Auto Joe away in a Ferrari, and it was all Minty's idea. I am so, so don't throw me under the bus, <laughs> Calculaster. You're so mean to me. He freed you under the bus the first chance. Pa! 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 You sniveling fools. Anyone knows that you must keep all cats away from Ferrari. <laughs> resist them. Ah, uh, now Mr. Brinzo will be enjoying riding for a few days at least. You children did a horrible job. I can't be seen with you. Yuck. Minty, no! this almost seems so, so no! unappealing. Oh, like no. someone who should not be around me. Oh my god. I feel pain. I feel pain. I feel pain. No! Oh, the Grudge of Boulders and Crown. I gotta go get oh, fucking. No. I gotta go get Boulders next round. Oh my oh, god. Oh, you are. You're like one bold. Oh. A one bold. I need Boulders next round. Oh, my god. Choose, oh, a song. choose a song. Um. Stayed gone. Um. Oh god. Um. What's this, what's, this, what's, this, what's this song? I don't know. What's it from? Uh, I'm trying to think of a good song that could like be random. I just oh, thought it just... Oh, Loser Baby. Loser Baby. We both chose some from Haspen. So, what's hmm. your song? Uh, since we're choosing something like that, let's do Live and Learn from like the old Sonic games. Okay. Player already decide based on oh, which no! song would be the least romantic song to <laughs> meet your soulmate to. No. None of our songs are good. <laughs> Mine is like kind of romantic and would be like really cute. Mine's I mean, not. <laughs> Mine, mine's not. Mine's about two demons fighting. <laughs> Over like. I mean. No one's getting romantic. Over state. I mean. But I can see people getting romantic over a Sonic song. Sonic songs are good. There have been. Yeah. I'm gonna... Mine is the least romantic. <laughs> I think you did it the opposite then, Oh! You? I'm so sorry, Soul, but I need to redeem myself for my bad mistakes. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh boy, I just lost almost all my boldness. And lost my if Ferrari to a cat. To me, don't worry. If Calculus or comes to me again, asking me about you, <laughs> no, I won't fine. say anything positive. No, it's fine. It's fine. Cat it's at time. my mate. I just had my cat, my Ferrari stolen by a cat. So <laughs> give me pity. <laughs> I got cursed. Never. You're cursed. I got cursed. <laughs> I'm poor. I'm cursed. I don't even have a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like uh -huh. both those options when you were doing when you're picking them were gonna be bad for you. Yeah, so. yeah, they were gonna be is bad either way. Is calculator with Mr. Beanzo, or is it just me? What? Um, so I have the outfits thing. So right now, calculus is wearing like a Mr. Beanzo. Oh no, thing, I don't Mr. have Mr. that. Beanzo. I don't have that. <laughs> no, I have normal outfits Dang. on. We should. We could put. Mm -mm. We could put uh, fire extinguishers under every log so responsible campers can stop reckless ones. May I chime in? Or we could put the campfire out immediately to prevent the need for fire extinguishers at all. No, we can't need a fire. Are we cold? Oh, hello, friend Minty. 
friend Joy and I for brainstorming ways to make the campfire a safer place for all of our friends. And frenemies, of course. <gasps> I choked on my throat again. Oh my god. <coughs> of course, Could you not? normally a campfire po process poses? poses Posies. limited danger. Dangers. Uh, but since this is a camp spooky... <gasps> Friend Milo came dangerously close to the campfire the other day, dragging several campers with them to get a perfect fire that selfie. Ugh. The prank masters have been known to pop in and now and then and they definitely stole some fire in a jar last time. Who knows what they did with it. Mm. I do. I do know what. It was not safe. Sad not face. safe! And of course, there's Damien being Damien. As he should. Yeah. And Friend Dahlia being Friend Dahlia. Duty calls. So, with that in mind, we need a way to get people to be safe around the fire. Or make the fire itself safer. No, Calculister. I've told you. Fires do not hurt monsters. Monsters hurt monsters. I don't know, you'd pretty burn up if you're lifted fire, being made of plants. Yeah, I would definitely. <laughs> uh, that's logical, uh, completely honest uh, Joy being a bit tipsy and not thinking things through, uh, time to find a better solution. You're right, Jack Busters. Um, still <laughs> sells off Seal off the fire with a firewall. Um, Joy, let's design the. No, I'm gonna do this one. Calculus is right! <gasps> oh, the old gas! Don't even care what he says, he's just right. <laughs> Alfred Minty, what a stellar idea. I have often used firewalls for my own personal safety. I am glad to implement one for the safety of others. Nice. A firewall will ensure that when our friends gather around the fire to download media as horror stories and music, they do not accidentally download fire as well. Ugh. Calculaster, what are you talking about? People aren't downloading stories from the fire. They're just telling them. But then why would they gather around the campfire to do so? He's got a point. Organic life forms are known for being quite flammable. If they could simply tell the stories elsewhere, why would they not? <laughs> because the campfire is warm and glowing. Are light bulbs not also warm and glowing? Sure, but it's just a tradition, okay? Not enough memory to tradition. An internal search indicates that this is often used as an excuse by organic life forms to justify inexplicable behavior. He's got a point. Yeah, not wrong. <laughs> Still, I believe you are mistaken in this case, as I have just installed the firewall and then safely connected it to the fire and downloaded the fire-related movie, St. Elmo's Fire. Okay. You did what now? Come, friends, let's all watch this 1985 cult classic featuring such acclaimed actors as Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, and prolific television character actress Gina Hecht. Wait, how did you download a movie from Fire? Doesn't matter, you and Joy and Calculus to have a lovely evening watching that garbage movie. Virus free and content. Uh, you get uh, bowling for soups total 1985's stuck in your head. Uh, but with the firewall safely in place, Calculester has no objections to a fireside sing-along. Mm, Woo! Hey! Hey, buddy, how you doing? Ow. You and Miller are debating whether or not the human personality personification of Apple Pie would be ENFP or INSF, INS, ISFG. Jesus. My God, when Dahlia this comes is crashing into your conversation. Have. What the fuck? Milo! Zephyr! I need your help with something! Ugh, but I don't want to do helping right now. I had a stressful day reaping the soul of a sobbing child's beloved dog. Oh. And I totally broke a nail swiping left on the haters earlier. 
but I have to go to this event that's that'll be filled with celebrities and aristocrats, and I have to spend the ex ex exorbitant amount of time of money amount of money of on a useless trinket to present to the host. Hmm. Well, like you've got me spending an exorbitant amount of money on a useless trinket to bring to a society socialite event is sort of my specialty. Spill the tea, girl. So, the king and queen, queen of the fourth circle of hell just died in a mysterious acid breath related accident. Um, their son, acid breath Aaron, <laughs> I wonder how they died, is having a, his coronation ceremony next week. <laughs> Why have I got the feeling it's going to be like some like, wedding and she's bringing a ring? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seems legit. Mm hmm. <laughs> Every demon who's any demon is going to be there giving gifts to the young king. It's my big chance to impress a potential ally and I can and I can and I that I can one day brutally betray. Okay. Okay. But I don't really know what mysterious boy kings like. Murderous. Murderous, sorry. Murderous boy king's like. A little different from mysterious. Yeah, I think I'd prefer mysterious. Have you thought about getting him a scented candle that smells like a spiritual con concept of beige? Oh, what? Everything. No. See, this is exactly why I came to you, Milo. I would never have thought of that in a million years. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, and neither would any other same person. Luckily, you know the perfect gift for their little regicidal maniac. The gift of music or <laughs> a rock? <laughs> a rock. But like a really cool rock. <laughs> a gift of music, probably. See, my heart says music, but rock. <laughs> yeah, rock's probably Dahlia, though. True. And you want Milo so you can peel pop up again. Yeah. Oh yes! How delightfully quaint. The best gift you could compose could possibly give is a gift that comes from the heart. Oh yes. Oh, so like I should give him a still beating heart I pulled out of a somebody's chest. Um no. <laughs> you should do the music thing that Zephyr suggested, obvi. Ah, oh, fine, but this had better work. Are you guys gonna help me write the song at least? Um, darling. of course we are, darling. Come on, Zephyr. Let's compose a symphony so beautiful it will move both heaven and hell. Hell, 300 years in the future. A tavern innkeeper is chatting amicably with one of the her regulars while she pours him another mug of ale. More tales, traveler. Oh. And then... After all that, the big bug-eyed creep left without even paying his tab. Ha! Huh. You really do meet all kinds when you run this little inn. Yeah, it's a long story. You said it. Why, I've already met even crazier characters in most of my travels. I once spent an evening being regaled with tales from an old peddler from the fourth circle. Really? <clears throat> I've always wanted to visit the Fourth Circle. I've heard it's quite a prosperous place. Indeed it is, and if prosperity can be traced all the way back to King Aaron the Irish Artistic. Artistic. The <laughs> years. Artistic. Yeah, that works too. His kingship would probably be worked not for his legacy in creating the Fourth Circle. <laughs> Lovely oh, national anthem. I want that as like a title for someone in a story. <laughs> Aaron the artistic. Let's see. <laughs> I used to know the words. All hail Aaron, she won't be sharing your crown with your father anytime soon. Glory to Aaron, what else friends of Aaron will keep caring for you the whole night through. Oh. The rest of the anthem is 30 minute drum solo that ends usually with an impromptu decapitation. Oh. <laughs> I've got a drum set in the back, and a this dishwasher I've I've been meaning to fire away. Let's have a round on the house and sing a sing all night. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love those cut to hell. Uh, Blar and Gar and Neospar and uh, what Neospar. else? <laughs> what else rides of Aaron? Baron, Garen, Arson. <laughs> I need at least like twelve more verses. This is so hard. <laughs> Wait. I can just end the song with an instrument instrumental break, duh. Never mind. Art is easy again because I'm great at everything. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, hmm, these lyrics are certainly something, Dahlia. I can say with like full confidence that your gift will make a lasting impression. Excellent! That's the best kind of impression. <laughs> I do agree. Milo doesn't respond, they just laugh and give you a meaningful look that prolonged eye contact with them sustains for days afterwards. Swoon. Uh, ah! Do we have cushions for the logs or? Uh, Damien or the Mothman. Yeah, do you want to go Damien yeah. or the Mothman? Or Amari. Yeah. Uh, or by yourself, I guess. Yeah, you're still alone. <laughs> I'm not doing the store thing again. I'm not doing the store thing and just losing all my stats like last time. Yeah, no, I remember that. We we were all fucked. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a store down there. That's isn't a store, it? yeah. yeah. You said the Mothman yeah. or Damien then, or other girl? Avari. Avari. What happens if I'm by myself? You can't. I didn't. You can't. Didn't realize that the shop was down the bottom. Yeah, the shop was down the bottom. We could shop So myself. it'd be <laughs> talk to some characters or go to the shop. You're sitting alone by yourself. You're watching oh, everyone else have fun falling in love. Oh. It's exhausting. Damn it. The night you want someone to chase after you. Oh, wait, Ooh. what? Excuse me. That's a thing? Question is, will anyone bother or will we spend the night wallowing in loneliness? Will, oh. will she show? No one's oh. here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No. Bring out your flask, let's do oh, the gamble. Okay. Take oh you can't do it online, so we have to take a gamble. Take the gamble. That weekend you feel like getting wasted, so you go visit none other than the magical oh, no. cat. Hello. I can hear you over my telly. Oh I'm sorry. Keep it down. I'm sorry. You better be. Keep it down. <laughs> okay. We don't want to listen to you while we're I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at my game. <laughs> oh, Juan, the medical cat. Yeah. Hola. You know, when I started making magical drinks, I never thought people would actually come to drink them. But hey, who am I to judge? You know? Anyway, take a look at this one. You know. Oh. No idea if I got the recipe right. Wanna try it? Uh. Otherwise, you'll have the mystery box, yeah? No, I'm not touching that. <laughs> I'll, I'll take I'll take the crow. I like the color. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. <laughs> yeah. And you passed. Your prize is the drink you chose. Yeah. <laughs> I love the little meows you do. Um. That'll give you smarts if you have right. I'm gonna probably give you the right, but the right question is, will you? Yeah. I also have this mystery box because at this point, who knows what you drink? Yeah. That'll <laughs> give you. Do, do I rest it? The, do I, rest I mean, the, the migraine. That one will give you smarts. That drink, I'm pretty sure. The margarita. Yeah, it gives you smarts. Mmm, I'll take the mod. Yeah, that's totally. I was testing your common sense. Yeah. And you passed. Your prizes. The drink you chose. Yeah. Okay, soul. Oh. Take you, ooh. That's pretty. Oh, you say? When you take the drink, interesting. Take the drink. It looks pretty. Okay. You know what? Uh, last time I took the mystery box, I got screwed over. So yeah, that's why I don't have much attention. Yeah, <laughs> no, totally. I was testing your common sense. Yeah. <laughs> and you passed. Your prizes, the drink you chose. Mm, yeah. Nice. 
Uh, oh, why am I first? Jesus. Oh, we can choose what we want to drink. Cool. So you want to drink? Wait, I can choose anyone's? Yeah, I think you can choose anyone's. Oh. It's smarts. Oh, yeah. Razor, it's fine. Oh. Yeah, I'll okay. give you some smarts. Yay. Look at that. Yeah, we gotta just choose our own drinks. <laughs> Tequila Moonrise. A powerful, invigorating drink. You can feel all your stats rising. Could use it oh, drink. nice! What the fuck does mine do? This is still crow. <laughs> <laughs> this is still crow. This is a legendary piece of magical blue. Yeah. Oh? <laughs> it's a spirit to drink with friends, but beware, it will rock you to your very core. Okay. When the effect goes away, you'll be so affected that it will see your change to all your stats between your set. What? What? You changed your trading stats. It changed all your stats, though. Changed all of them? I, th I think you're trading. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Okay, right. so yeah, all oh. players randomly swap out their stats of another player. Oh. Mente! Go! <laughs> Mente! I give you more, like, like creativity, though, that you already had. <laughs> yeah. But still, <laughs> I took what you're smart. I think, <laughs> Sorry. I think I took minty. I think I took minty. No, I took. I took Zephyr stats. Yeah. No. Um. I, I, Zephyr has my stats. Um. My charm. I have Zephyr's stats. Um. But I think you also swapped with Zephyr at one point too. So. Um. I think hmm. I have either yours or Zephyr's. Either way, I'm smart yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> That was Soul's got, interesting. Soul's got mine because he has my charm. <laughs> don't you, the drinks, don't you the drinks, too, it, it, the drinks no, I need really, the drinks really just fuck you over. Isn't like the worst? The, the drinks okay, just lo love to the mess of all of us. Spaghetti. Um, spaghetti. Well, good. Um, I am going to choose. Um, uh, chicken nuggets. And I would go with burrito. Burrito? burrito? Chicken burrito? nuggets and... Who doesn't like a burrito? And uh, spaghetti. spaghetti. Player order is decided based on which food would destroy prehistoric humans. Burrito! <laughs> Their asses would be destroyed, yes. And then it would also stomach destroyed by how unhealthy chicken nuggets are. Oh yeah, they processed chicken nuggets. Yeah. Fucking chicken nuggets are nasty. They would not be able to handle it. <sighs> Whereas spaghetti wrong. is rather safe, it's just noodles, yeah. tomato sauce, mince. Old okay, so I need some charm again. Yeah. <sighs> Camp done, the Cam game is seven minutes in heaven extreme. Yeah, Go on to yourself as tribute. <laughs> Yay, lip balm. Kissing. Oh my god. They stood up murder you and you need to stay in literal heaven for seven, oh, seven minutes in heaven, okay. Of course, they the stab you repeatedly. You sure you're going to hell, but no, heaven is beautiful and it's all the advantage. Okay. You want to stay, but they bring you back to life. You're cheered by your teammates. You will never be the same. Plus, the charm. Milo. Milo, please. Uh, we're playing dodgeball. Yeah. But who cares? It came down to the epic one v one showdown. Dahlia versus Morty the Minotaur. Fuck yeah. Oh, Milo's there. Hey, hey Milo. So, so yeah. you want to do the minotaur? Look at his trousers! <laughs> Alright. Listen, babe. You're hot, and you should surrender now. You can't defeat me. I gave myself a thumb massage right before this game, and I'm more limber than ever. <laughs> Bring it on, <laughs> minotaur. I've defeated both men and bulls in battle, but never have I defeated a half bull, half man. Oh, Guess that makes me your first. He's got bomb yeah, energy. Yeah, Dahlia, you're absolutely seizing this dodgeball vibe. Make that ball work for it, you murderous cerulean goddess. <gasps> Thanks, Milo. I completely agree with you. I am a goddess. You're a good friend for noticing. <laughs> it's impossible not to notice. Now fuck this sports game right up. Yes. <laughs> I'm a motherfucking dodgeball goddess! Yeah. I think I said yeet. It's completely hyped by Milo's cheering. She, yeah, it's a yeet. Mm. She throws the ball super hard as she just barely misses Morty and crashes through the dome roof, landing in the woods. Oopsie. 
He ought to say to go look for the dodgeball, and Morty comes along. He says that he refuses to leave a 10 switchy duel unresolved. Okay. We're looking for the ball. What do we know about the ball? I guess we know it's ball shaped and round. And hey, that meh old lady has a. Oh, God, so oh, not her again. <laughs> I have your ball right here. You feel free, naughty children. <laughs> since since it fell into my forest, and since I consider the entire forest uh, to be my yard, the ball is now mine. It's mine now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. What the fuck? Why did I just reconnect to you? The ball's mine now. <laughs> the ball's mine. <laughs> Watch out, you guys. That old lady is Baba Yaga. She's a witch that lives out here in the woods. I'm an official coven witch, so I know a fellow witch when I see one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love him. So? so? What? She's a witch. Dahlia, go get the ball back. What if she puts a curse on me? That makes me magically forget the lo location of the. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. You down there, get your ball back. You know, children. I must. I will use it to play refresh with my precious kitty, Mr. Pinzo. <laughs> he stole my Ferrari. Didn't he, didn't he, didn't he yeah, didn't he take off in the Ferrari? That or he came back and he, he steals my Ferrari. This is totally unacceptable. I was streaming your dodgeball duel to my followers. They need to know how it ends or I'll be so narratively unsatisfying. Your friends need the ball back and you're desperate for the blood rival. It's time to make a trade off with the Baba Yaga, so too good to refuse. Ooh. If you give us the dodgeball, we'll give you a fond memory to treasure forever. Aww. Aww. If you give us the dodgeball, we'll give you a delicious new- Oh. Newborn child. Oh. Um. What's uh, that? Do not do bold, anything yeah. bold. Um, I would say the top one. Memory. Because it's it's more it's charming. Charming, yeah. Oh. And I and I give you I have a lot of charm that you now have. I feel like the bottom ones either like boldness or fun, which I'm just not. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Uh, Zephyr. I don't think the Baba Yoga is gonna want a freaking memory. Try off for the banger. Because I will if it comes to that. The fuck is wrong with this guy? Every He's horny. Beautiful. What it? are you saying, Morty? Of course the Baba Yaga will want a memory. Valuable currency in the universe. Well, what do you say, Baba Yaga? Hmm, fine. I shall return your ball if you make a fun memory <laughs> together. Now come back to my house and all the children. I shan't eat you. Ha <laughs> <clears throat> you, four you four bravely follow the Baba Yaga back to her house in the forest. It's super creepy. The house moves around in chicken legs and the smell is... Yikes. You spend the whole afternoon hanging out in the Baba Yaga. She bakes all some sort of fresh cookies and tells you tales from her life of a witchery. Add the wisdom of generations. So, that, so that's why I always curse the innocent people top walking through my forest. It teaches them respect. Not that your generation has any respect, <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Super insightful point. The wisdom is just overwhelming. Ah, yes. <laughs> your filthy children should be learning from me. I am your elder. After all, I, 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 I put a there somewhere. <laughs> I do it really well, so it just comes out naturally. The and perhaps you disgusting children can keep Babriaga something too. Like perhaps uh, you could show Babriaga how to print out a receipt I found online. Recipe. Oh, recipe I found online. <laughs> I'm old. I'm old, Zephyr. I cannot read. Not even my own words. <laughs> leave it in my mouth. <laughs> it's for eggplant parmesan. But I'm going to use a fresh newborn child instead of an eggplant. Yeah, we can definitely grab the ball, Morty, now. <laughs> Muscle time! I got the ball. Now let's run away before this old lady throws a curse in my flawless eight pack. Victory is ours! Fuck off, you old mean grandma! Grandma! Ah, you hideous children! I hate you! <laughs> 
Toodaloo, Sorry, babe, but no hard feelings, right? <laughs> we all escape the house and run into the woods. Can the we stop having Baba Yaga show up, so I right, stopped doing so Italian accent. rescuing me. The dodgeball whispers to you. It's not like soup in there. What a victory! Great work, Zephyr. You now... You now... And now that we've got the ball back, <laughs> you, re you, you ready to set this minotaur? Settle this minotaur? Hell yeah, no. no. Let's do this. Let me take off my pants first, though. I want maximum flexibility. Oh my god. Can he wants, him saying, Let he wants your to balls. go. Yeah, he's. Can anyone see my balls? He Holy wants, shit, oh the Dark Ball duel is awesome. Morty's exposed deck is awesome. You're so blown away by the experience that you gain plus two fun, plus one smart. Uh, yes. Something. That's the easiest path. That's the easiest Okay, I need some creativity. So, I'll be going back to here. Pumpkin. <laughs> oh, again. <laughs> Feels like a curse. Uh, doing star stuff, I guess. Creativity, thank you. 888. Eight, eight. Kitty. Big kitty. Out the word, you get stuck in another of the coach's lectures about trees. Hello, my beloved scout. And that's why you should, ne you should never lend a tree your mobile phone. No matter what it tells you. Oh, great. <clears throat> <laughs> Suddenly, Avari and Calculester come running out of the woods. Okay. <clears throat> Kids, what's wrong? Why are you <coughs> panting? Because... Because we just hunted down a willy. A surprisingly... A wily, a surprisingly fast hedgehog. And slaughtered it so for nice. feet. Sodding? Sound like the hedgehog. Survival skills. Why is calculus to panting? Back to basics. To provide moral support for my friend, Aravi. I was gonna say, he doesn't breathe. Uh, what about Hex? They don't have lungs either, do they? DJ Hex up in the pipes! Nah, I'm not panting. I'm just beat beatboxing. It's my new thing. Uh. And I hate it. That's... But what... But that's not why we're here. We're... We're here so you can help us figure out what to do with this dumb animal we killed. Oh, uh, drop the skill. That is Sonic. Uh, still warm headshot corpse in the crowd. Um... Notice the bright red sneakers. Oh god. This old tiger proud. I'm harder than you came to me, kids. Cooking the meat of the animals you kill is an essential skill in your wilderness toolkit. First, you'll have uh -huh. to. No, no, no. We know how to cook meat. I'm an expert hunter and survivalist. And I have access to the YouTube. <laughs> no, we want to figure out how to jazz this this dead hedgehog up. So that so it's something people can actually buy. Except they want to do taxidermy. We are planning to start a forest food truck. You see, we are thinking of calling it the woods in your mouth. Oh, mm. freezing. But we are at a loss as to how to proceed, as none of us have any experience with fine dining. I, for example, cannot eat or enjoy food. I usually stab random animals and hope they drop fully cooked ham, hooks, or legs of mutton. Eagles. And I subsist, subsist mainly on diet on Avari's eggs and everything bagels. <laughs> Take care and never stop believing. I'm sorry, kids. This is beyond my expertise. I know about survival, not a hot cuisine. After all, if it was enjoyable, it wouldn't be survival. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. True. And he's gone. Okay, uh, coming to the bullshit. Yeah, people will give you money. You suggest people don't pay for the product; they pay for the brand. Just some pers parsley on. Put some parsley on it. Give it an eggplant French name. Elegant. Sorry. <laughs> eggplant. Yeah. Add some ketchup. Ketchup makes everything taste pretty, okay? I am great. I got good stats, so I'm just gonna do top one because I like that one. Charming! Oh, yeah! French makes everything feel fancier. I mean, 
Vous voulez vous coucher avec <laughs> moi? Sounds way more uh, elevated than let's pork, right? <laughs> Indeed, 14.6 million millijeeves were elev elevated according to my linguistic altimeter. Uh, Excellent. Now we must need, we just need to pick the perfect French name for French name. What I say it like that? French name for our dead mm. chug with precise. I am Waluigi. Um, what about Hedgehog Julian? We are totally did anyone? Mm, did anyone else extremely what? Did anyone else get extremely aroused just now? What else can we have? We got Hedgehog Croissant. Well, it's like mm -hmm. I can, I just drank a potion of plus two horny. Can you top that, cow? I'd rather not talk anything. Uh, perhaps, perhaps we could call it a hedgehog souffle. Oh my god. Eggplant. No, wait. Souffle du hedgehog. Does anyone have a spare phoenix, phoenix down on hand? Because I am dead. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. From some rigu. Et la quin de de boof boofin? I can't say that one. Que de de boof? La go à la quin de boof. De boof. Okay, I said it right first time then. Yeah. De boof. Two. Nothing beats a little souf souffle de hedgehog and oxtails. Success achieved. Nothing except souffle to hedgehog and friends. MVP. Ah, oh, you're a sweet cow. This is going to be the best food truck in time. I'm trying to pair it off for her. Yeah, quads. <laughs> uh, yay, Scout HQ. Bruh, get a truck. Oh, You're... some knuckles. Knuckles? Oh no. <laughs> um, oh cool, got plus two charm and one fun. Yeah. You whispered French words together all evening. Jeez. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, uh, boldness, yeah, I'm boldness would soul. be the one soul. Yeah, I'd say boldness. You need boldness and creativity for her. And you already have yeah, the charm. Yeah, because you got my smarts. Yeah. So, boldness. Boldness. <clears throat> Hunted mansion time. Blanket with two holes. The blanket with two holes, like those old-fashioned cartoons. No. Okay, <laughs> not not yeah, anything okay. rude. Not anything rude. <laughs> okay. No, that is kind of holes. Um, do nothing. Yay. Yay. The gold. Bonus in the process. Nice. I'm gonna stay full. Scent of adventure. Which, please. Oh, you can Yay, freak out. Yay, I don't speech. <laughs> I'm just saying, speaking from experience, that it's bad from form of to slaughter a demon without first giving him a chance to change his ways. Join your team. Become your hot demon lover. <laughs> Get good! And I'm just saying that you don't expect XP for talking your way out of the combat encounters. <laughs> oh, I've gotten all kinds of experience from talking my way out of combat encounters. If you catch my meaning. She's a hoe! Oh god. She has, like, had multiple flings with demons, so... Yeah. Uh, like what? More boring conversations to skip through? <gasps> How do you skip through a conversation? <laughs> I find that if I punch someone in the neck while they're talking... <laughs> Usually, stuff, and we can skip to, fight, to fighting as a great speed running star strat. Uh, look, I respect your approach to adventuring and the fearless way you interact with cursed artifacts. Stop! Um, but it 
takes more than unbridled violence to be a true protagonist. Hmm. And I respect you, both as a strong, independent woman, with a wicked fashion sense, and someone who's managed to make an old caster party work without a tank. Ugh, I can't carry but, this one. But you wouldn't last uh, ten seconds against the types of demons I fight. Enough of this. Oh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't, would I? Sounds like the only way to settle this argument is by putting our claims to the test. I'll summon a demon. We'll both fight it, and we'll see whose strategy is superior. Huh? Hold on to your wand there, Sabrina. If you're the, if you're the one summoning the demon, that's on... That's... What's to stop you from summoning one that's more vulnerable to your approach? DJ Hex up in the pipes. Oh, oh, I can summon a demon, Ah, uh, 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 but it need, but I need, all I need is like two of your vertebrae, free tops. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, how about we find someone else? Fine. We'll have an impartial third party summon a demon. We can both fight an impartial third party like... Hey, so, you. you. So, you know how to draw a summoning circle, Sigil, right? It's first year material at Spooky High, so only a huge idiot wouldn't be able to. Crap, you spend most of your class drawing poor. <laughs> So it looks like a time of bullshit, but like, how hard can it really be, right? Um, <laughs> great. Uh, good luck. Sigils are, sigils are basically drawings, right? So if you draw a demon, is that creativity? E I would say so. Yeah. Oh. You borrow Joy's summoning chalk, and what you do best, draw your smoking hot demon, is complete. Um, and you even make sure to add the appropriate hashtags. Nah. That's a picture of a demon. You just drew a picture. Not just a picture. A very, very hot picture. Why is that demon showing his ass and winking over his shoulder? <laughs> it's distracting. Typical. Also, totally not summoning Sigil. I guess you didn't pay attention in class after all. We'll just have to. Wait, does anyone else smell that? It smells like brimstone and hair product. The room, oh no. the room fills worked. with a growing red smoke, oh and then no. it fades and devastating. The hot demon is standing over for, over your sigil, checking his phone. <laughs> What's up, sluts? <laughs> he grins. I got notification that someone was using the hot hashtag hot demon hashtag, and I had to come check it out. <laughs> he exclaims your drawing. He examines your drawing, which actually bears a striking resemblance to him. Hmm, he says. You should have made my eyebrows a little bit thicker and like 20% hotter. Other than that, it seems pretty accurate. You would make an interesting oh, love interest. I know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No two-dimensional drawing could ever do just justice to those very three-dimensional muscles. I'm trying to date her, and she's flirting with a demon. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's voiced by Christina V. Who? The voice sounds familiar. Uh, she does Robin and Ruby. She does uh, Marinette and Miraculous Ladybug. I don't watch Miraculous Ladybug. It's shit. She does. I can't think of it. I know she's known for. Something. Okay, next page. That's nice of you to say. <laughs> says the demon hotly <laughs> oh menti she does the um the succubus in hell of boss oh she's verosica mayday 
He's Marasica. Oh shit! Just notice the glaring inaccuracy in his drawing. There's a knife stabbed in its back. I don't have a knife stabbed in my back. Ah! Eh. <laughs> you do now, sucker! Thank you, says the demon, oh. coughing up black blood as he falls on the ground. Now it is much more accurate. Okay. I feel like I underestimated you. I feel like they're gonna come to a conclusion of like talking and is a distraction for me to kill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I have to admit that stabbing was extremely well choreographed. I'm impressed. And I'm impressed that you use your raw sexuality to distract him. So I could sneak up from behind. Normally, I have to stab demons in the front. Uh, yeah, that was my plan all along. Not to fuck the demon at all. That's totally not what she wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I help too. What? How? You... By not piercing you with smallpox <laughs> right before you stab that guy. I'm a real team player. You got a point. That's true. I mean, I I guess, but yep. not hurting look, your own teammate like you're is just Plus two charm, one creativity. Ooh, look at that. Much more charming. I'm creative. You just need more, like... You're welcome. You're welcome. It's my charm. <laughs> you're welcome. Everyone choose a celebrity. Ryan Reynolds. Ooh. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. Jennifer Lawrence. Keanu Reeves is going to be like voicing Shadow the Hedgehog. Yep. Oh, so funny. Yep. Okay. We set our celebrities. Yep. Soul, you, you're last, so you got to play. Player order is decided based on which celebrity is the most likely to be to be a diehard fan of a much smaller celebrity and a very sincere and wholesome. It's Ryan Reynolds. Keanu Reeves. Jennifer Lawrence. Does Ryan does Reynolds. All the time. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds and Keanu Reeves both do that. Like, fucking Ryan Reynolds has bought a small-time football club in the United Kingdom and is literally building it up, and he's so supportive of it and all that. That's fucking hard. I would say Keanu, Ryan, and then Jennifer Lawrence. Soul? Hello. Oh, good? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that today for me. Um, I would say Keanu, Ryan, and then Jennifer Lawrence. Have you seen interviews with Jennifer Lawrence? She's like, who so was wholesome a, when it comes to people. Who was a, we chose all three them? wholesome people. Because I chose Ryan Reynolds, who has a literal football team in the United Kingdom that was going to close down, and he's brought it up again. And he's like, so who was who was Ryan Reynolds? Ryan. No, I'm saying who picked Ryan Reynolds? Me, me, I Thank did. You. I wasn't asking who Ryan Reynolds. I was gonna say Soul. Was... How do you not know? Uh, so many okay, choices. one more, two more rounds, and we're done. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. Home stretch. Uh, so you need some. We need fun, but it I also... Need, I need boldness. I need, you do I need, need boldness. last minute boldness. Yeah, last minute boldness. Back into the cave for the content okay, match. Yeah, yeah. So we need to just yeah. speed through speed it. Speed run! That's fine. Yay, I reached off and joy. Hey there, you weren't doing anything important, were you? At least nothing more important than flirting with me, right? Ooh! <laughs> Damn. Um, by the way, a sprinting shirt lesson... Dripping with sweat isn't a bad look for you, soul. Ooh, Dang. she's flirting. He blush like an anime character who's talking to their crush. Oh my god. Just skip, skip. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that my my screamo band... I can't say that word. Um, has Ventagram. A, Ventagram has a show tonight. We're playing that super gross pub nearby. The Piss Rec Bar. Hmm. You should come see us. 
You get it. You get to see me scream my guts out. And I, I said that very sexually. <laughs> um, in a non-literal way. Oh, Damien and Dahlia are the bad too. And you kind of care about, and you kind of care about them, right? Hmm. No pressure though. Uh, the pub technically has an occupancy limit of three people, so I can basically guarantee you, you'll die if there's even a small fire. Holy shit! You got invited to a, to a location by her. Oh my god! You cannot fuck this up, soul. Okay, you gotta go there later at night. You get your, the government ID, to the thoughtest concert outfit in your thoughtest concert outfit. Um, and as you grow, for glass of beer in your head, someone throws glass of beer in your head. Every single surface in the bar is filthy and sticky. It's packed with everyone here. Very hot. You are very ugly. But they all look like they could beat your ass easily. This is unequintably the perfect location for a screamo concert. Piss wreck bar shreds. Oh, and there's joy. Hey, you. Okay. Mm. Look what the cat dragged in. Thanks for coming, Soul. We're about to go on right after they finish setting up Damien's drum rig flamethrower. And my mega explosive drum set. At it weighs three thousand two hundred pounds, and also a harpoon gun at a, a is it is a legal ventigram is life. <laughs> Fuck yeah, ventigram fucks hard. Ventigram is violence. Come on, darling, we gotta do our pre-show tradition, fighting the audience. By the way, I'm happy that you made it, Soul. Realistically, I'm. You probably don't have anything else to do tonight. They'll call out there, but it still means a lot. I should go to my vocal warm-ups, but I'll keep an eye out for you when I'm on stage. Cheer up for me, okay? Girl. Um. I like I how she just calls you out. Rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I'm an introvert as fuck, so like, whenever like I have my plans cancelled, I am so happy. I don't have to go anywhere. Like when I'm like, I promise to go out somewhere, someone, and then they say, sorry, I end up having to cancel for this, I'm just like, woo! <laughs> this is okay, good. Alright, redheads. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, they're doing songs. Woo, go on, do you get booed. What? Oh, that's one exactly kind of smart idea. We need to check the sound before we start anyway. Good soul, catch soul. You tell Joy that you know nothing about screamo or bands or sound in general. You're here to check the microphone for poison. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we don't need you to do that. Actually, you know what? I am eternally, entirely sure that we don't need you to do that. Uh, yeah, but, you know, you give the microphone a big slow lick, and suddenly you start feeling very ill and dizzy. Shit, is this thing actually poisoned? Suddenly you hear someone from the audience shriek, No! Our evil plan! Curse that insidious microphone checker! <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> Are you Dr. Credius? <laughs> what is you, Dr. Credius? And Mac... Gormius, the evil warlock, and all the other villains from season three. What are you doing here? And why are you disguised as Screamo fans? Bahaha! -ha -ha. Oh joy, you foolish protagonist. We knew that you would. Okay, they're just fucking in the battle of bands. Yeah. Villains reveal instruments. Okay, it's gonna be a battle of the bands situation between villains. Uh, come on, let's wreck the fucking shit out of the noise. Yeah. My lead. Fuck I was yeah. put on this earth to so I can do metal shit like this. Oh yeah, grind your loins, bitch. <laughs> cool, they kill. Venomat is killing, like literally killing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when you were in consciousness. You're oh, still I'm, being, I'm being cradled wow. by Are Joey's being... arms. Oh. So, wake up, we won. And it was the most legendary concert of all time. Those events, those aren't my words either. God showed up and told us herself. That God's a girl, apparently. Magic. Oh, you hadn't checked my mic? 
If you didn't hadn't checked my mic, I'd be totally dead right now. Thanks for saving my life, and thanks for doing it without stealing the spotlight. That was a nice touch. Okay, that was not bad. And since you literally performed oral sex on a boot of the microphone for me, the least thing I, I can do is pay for your drinks tonight. <laughs> not orally sex to make. Yay, so... Uh, she kissed you! Oh, well, she can't remember or... that you kissed her, but, you know, poison dreams, whatever. And you kissed the girl. Oh, I... I need... I got a lot of smarts. I need more creativity. Pumpkin. <sighs> okay. I got creativity. Ten, ten! Look at that! Yeah, we were less serious here. Yay! Oh, library card. Hello, Minty. It's a good thing I have my library card because I am totally checking you out. Oh. It is useful for borrowing books and DVDs. Yeah! <clears throat> if you were a Transformer, you would be Optimus Fine. Although I am as of you, yet unsure whether you can turn into a truck. He's flirty. If you could rearrange the alphabet, I would put you and I together. Despite the fact that this would seriously disrupt the alphabetic sorting and likely damage my programming. Actually, with that in mind, I do not think that I would want to rearrange the alphabet. I do like you though. <laughs> Is this working? Are you aroused? Yes. <laughs> well, you are a muse, and that hmm. was some... Uh, some of the letters, oh, same letters. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. oh dear, I knew it was hopeless. Lately, I have had been feeling more and more of what you would call romantic feelings towards you, but I have been unsure how to express them. Naturally, I turned to the internet for advice, but this list of 40 best pickup lines has proven highly ineffective at winning your fragile, meat-filled heart. I am aware that I have several good traits, but I am afraid being sexy is not That's one of lie. them. That's a lie! That's oh, a lie! Well, perhaps a torrid love affair between the two of us is simply not meant to be. That's a lie! No, you can't let Calculester give up. A, a torrid love affair between the two of you is definitely meant to be. Look, robots can be upgraded, right? Surely there's a way to upgrade Cal, uh, Cal's <laughs> sexiness. He's perfect as is. You just need to figure out what it is. Uh, train his natural net to <laughs> on every romantic comedy ever produced. <laughs> 14 metal dicks. Okay. Which one's the smart one, Minty? Uh -huh. Which one's the calculator one? It's probably train him 14 metal days. That's a little too much, though, ain't it? <laughs> Which is the correct one? I mean, don't. You will never know. Because that's kind uh -huh. of bold. I got uh -huh. good boldness anyways. Like, my boldness isn't bad, so I could do either one. Um... But I feel like I it's more smart or creative to do this one, but this one's uh -huh. also creative. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh. Is it creative or is it just horny? It's kind of both. <laughs> it's also kind of bold, you know. Um, I would say a first one, because it... Because 40 minute this also sounds fun, and I only have 9 fun. But I also have less boldness. Um, I w I'm gonna say train him. Mm. Don't, Zephyr. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I need this. Um, I'm gonna say train him. Go creative! Yay! <laughs> uh, you expect Cal to watching a large number of romantic comedies, my... Great idea. I have not watched every romantic comedy oh, ever quick. produced. How do I look? Am I sexy? Yes. <laughs> You start to explain that merely watching the romantic comedies isn't enough. <coughs> He's going to have to... Server error. error. Attempt to distill a coherent moral framework for moral movie corpus has failed. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I have consumed the content, but I do not understand the behavior of the various characters. Do they not realize that if they cease telling each other horny lies, the probability of a romantic outcome would dramatically increase? Well, romantic comedies aren't strictly realistic exceptions of... Wait, I have solved the conundrum. Romantic comedies are not examples of how to behave in a romantic context. They are examples of how not to behave. One moment please, refactoring neural training parameters. Ah, here we are. I have deduced the optimal course of action according to my rigorous study and dispassionate analysis. The optimal romantic stratagem. No, no, romance isn't about stratagem, it's about... <sighs> is to it authentically share my feelings with you before our budding affection can be derailed by your douchebag fiance the vietnam draft the pox on both our houses friend minty whenever i see you my cpu temperature rises Aww. sharply as i devote massive computational power towards imagining you and i together Aww. do you think we might like to be more than friends yes Hell yeah, you would. Excellent. Excellent. Let us celebrate in the traditional manner. I will stand behind you and help you essentially sculpt a vase while blasting your favorite song from a <laughs> boombox and showering you in rose petals. Oh, I love that. I would love that. <laughs> Plus two fun <laughs> and one charm. Yay. Let's go somewhere. <sighs> charm again. Let's go. I need all the charm I can get. Yeah. Right, Competitive spin the um, bottle. We're almost at the end. Yeah. We're almost at the end now. We're so close. Uh, ultimate escape. You win the kissing. You plus two charm. Oh. Hey, Milo. <laughs> yeah, Star Gazing Star Taylor. Have romantic. Oh, yeah. Ah, Zephyr. I'm like so glad you're here with me. It's nice to take a step up from the, all the chaos of camp and work and just spend time with a person I care truly and deeply about. And nothing separating or distracting me from. <gasps> No, oh, sorry, that's my notifications bell. I'll just check that real quick. Okay, we're good. Now what was I saying? Oh, oops, that's my DM. Sorry, sorry, darling. I will answer quickly and then... Oh, oh! Would you look at that? My Instagram followers have made me a little tribute video. How sweet. Oh, and look here. My hashtag is overflowing with fan art. I should reply to all these lovely messages. I'm sorry, darling. I know you must feel a little bit sidelined, and I do generally want to spend time with you. But I have a responsibility to my fans. They look up to me, and I want to be there for them too. You understand, right? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Perpetual pain and air sharing, Milo. Unless you become Milo's biggest fan, then you'd have to know it should pay more attention to you. Think, how can you quickly become Milo's number one fan? Oh. Ooh. A true fan Which, is uh, answering the sheer amount of useless knowledge you have. That's just what savage Milo would be. Oh, wow. All fans, I feel like we need uh, all fans identity. want to still become a person they admire or the little true fans can really pull off steal Milo's identity. No, that's kind of creepy. What's my stats? Um, oh, that seems like bold. Yeah. I do not want to go, oh. So, creativity with the sandwich then. Creativity or with the sandwich. Or is it smart, knowing about them? Knowing about them, anyway. yeah. Smart, yeah. It's my only other option, I can't do bold. No, I can't miss can't the bold. boldness. I wouldn't copy, maybe really, that's kind of creepy. Really? How flattering, but I wonder if you willing to put your money where your mouth excuse me by participating in my new streaming content show what if milo oh this would be like so much fun suddenly milo puts their phone in your face and you're staring at a streaming interface with 112,000 viewers well on animated what if milo graphic hangs above your head you're freaking off three of milo's worst most feared and respected fans a teenager with milo's face tattooed over his face oh. Oh. a middle-aged woman who named all four of her children milo Okay. okay, and a crazed geneticist who has half sentient clone of Milo drilling in their basement for research. This Ew. is going to be a fight Ew. to the death. Ew. Ew. Now, first question. If Milo Belladonna were a sandwich, what would they be? Please don't matter. Okay. You instantly buzz in. An avocado and mango sandwich with cilantro lime in it. That actually sounds delicious. The perfect lunch yeah. staple. Elegant yeah. sweet twist. Correct. But that was just a softball question. Now it's time to really get into it. Second question, which of the founding followers of the United States would Milo Belladonna most vibe with? George Washington says the tattooed teenager, because Milo would really rock a set of wooden teeth. You moron, says a middle-aged man. Benjamin Franklin, because Milo's face brings in the big buckets. 
They're both wrong. The question was not which founding father Milo would be, but which he'd be most vibe with. The answer was, of course, Samuel Adams, because Milo would never be vibe with a founding father who condemned owning slaves. Correct again, Zephyr. The bell is the devil is truly in the details. Oh, they are big. Okay. Time for the final question. This works to all the marbles. If Milo Belladonna could only use one Snapchat filter for the rest of time, what would it be? Pink glow, says the geneticist confidently, subtly effeminate, utterly elegant, just like my BFF Milo. Nope, wrong again. It is a trick question all along. The answer is no filter because my friends are natural beauty of everything, truly, including their true friends. <sighs> Ding ding ding! That means Zephyr has won by landslide. Congratulations, darling! Your victory entitles you to a bonus question. Who would be Milo Belladonna's perfect day? Is it me? Zephyr, is it it's me? Zephyr. Is it me? It's, it's always me. Yeah. Plus two charm, plus one fun. Alright. Yay, last day! Last we're here. day of summer. Who are you gonna fall in love with? Joy. Joy? I hope. Yes. Let me actually succeed hope. for once, please. <laughs> Calculaster. Do we all succeed for once? Are we all gonna win? Do we all get it in the end? Oh, hey. <laughs> is this the time? Has it come? Mm -hmm. Has our time finally come where we all end up with someone instead are of we all, one of us laughing? Are we all <laughs> succeeding? You finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. Oh, what's that? You want to be my summer fling? Welcome to the You know, so hour. I think our romance might just be predest pre finally. predestined by fate. Predestined. I can't deny our chemistry, and you do make a great world-saving sidekick. Perhaps this was always my destiny. Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna smash. I could see a <laughs> love happening. Oh, oh look at your picture. You can... I think it's because we have streamer mode on, so we can't see those images. Uh, the meteor shower was magical. What? I have streamer mode on. Uh, no, yeah. I do too. Yeah. So I see a cute picture. What do you see, Zephyr? Take a picture. Send a screenshot and send me. Uh, Take a screenshot and send I, me. I, I, I just said. I just. Same. Just, uh, yeah. just put. Just send it. To I want to know. I want to know. I want to know what you're seeing because you don't have streamer mode on. Um. As um. I need to. Uh, how do I? How do I? How do I? Um, how do you want? How do I take a screenshot? Never mind. Oh, it's gone. Oh. That's fine. You just go into your gallery afterwards. Mm. I don't find between you and me, you say? You know, as you may have guessed from my interest in wine and cheese tasting, I do have How do you not understand control alt print screen? Delectable things before I commit to taking them. So if you don't mind, darling, perhaps I could get a small taste of you. Ooh. Milo kisses you in the cheek, it's simple, and yet it makes your soul tremble in the strangest, sweetest way. Never stop being ah, cool. yes, the perfect. That was perfect. The settle. I would love to be your summer flings ever. Oh! How cute! That's adorable. That's so cute. Milo showed you how to crush up wild blackberries to make an incredible blackberry wine. Later you get drunk together and finally get deep. You talk about life, your dreams, and the meaning of existence. Milo said, can you keep a secret, Zephyr? Being a messenger of death, I think I figured out the true meaning of life. And they told you that it was, but you were so drunk that you immediately forgot. Oh. That's adorable. That's why oh, we well. talk about love. The easiest path. Yeah, 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 yeah. You find a guy courage to ask your beloved to watch over the Mia shower with you. We're two for free, come on, we're two for free. You just, yeah. Zephyr, you, you read them. You desire a summer fling with me. Well, my summer research has indicated that your summer romance is an integral part to having the perfect summer camp existence. Experience. And according to my diagnosis scan of all of our fellow campmates, you are indeed the most desirable match by a point. 6% margin. In that case, I would love to be your fling. Can we be a Mary? Yeah! That is me! Why is that me? <laughs> it's a little butterfly. Why is that me, though? <laughs> the fucking pumpkin squealing of joy. <laughs> <laughs> you held hands of calculator in the meteor shower. It's, it's me. You wish you were the two of you together forever. Yes, please. You told Calculator and asked what he wished for. He told you he had a hard time understanding the basis of wishing when an asteroid <laughs> passes through your side. The logic of the ritual seemed very wrong. 
but while still holding hands, he added that if he had the capacity to make wishes, he would also ha have wished for you two to be together. Oh, so cute! Uh, 10 new events, 14 new outcomes, 1 new special stuff, 67% of total events. Ooh. Oh, nice. Relax. All right. But we did like so well. I gotta get running though. Before we, oh, yeah, it's fine. You, you, I'll uh, give, give a second to just do the closing stream. Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute, and it felt like an eternity, lifetime, entire lifetime. What that night, as we saw summer, as we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and mis uh, misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it. Now those years became the foundation of the of the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies, sung for, sung for centuries, wild nights became epic treasures forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. To even today, I can still close my eyes and I am here on that last summer night feel like I was just staring to live life. Nice. With all my friends around the campfire. So young and unafraid. And so ready to start. Nice. <laughs> credit song. Streamer version of the credit song. Aww. That was so cute, the little Milo thing in the credits. Oh, the fucking right, streamer friendly go. song. See you later. See ya. Bye. That was like so cute, the whole song. I love it. It's a pinky promise. Pinky promise? <laughs> Oh, the cred the streamer version of the credit song is hilarious. Wow. Yay, thank you for monetizing this. Yay. Yay. Ooh. The, the credits for Monster Camp is much more fun to watch than the first game. Yeah, it's really cute. Oh, thank you! Hmm? It, the song just said... The, the just said like and subscribe for us. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Yay. What is that? Is that sexual for him? What? I liked it a lot. Buy a streamer song. Remember, streaming monster camp. You'll be just fine. Thank you. That's amazing. I love that. That's fun. 
Unlock. You have now unlocked the flask, the flask genie. I've unlocked poison. <laughs> Grand. Uh, stats movie. Nice. That's fun. Look at the gallery. <laughs> the fucking octopus. <laughs> I love it. I love how like you have a ver variation versions of the pictures, so you can see everyone's reactions. Oh god, Pumpkin Girls one's terrifying. Wow. That's interesting. Nice. Cool. Well... <laughs> Was that? Well, that was that was Monster Prom Camp for a stream today. I enjoyed it. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I think we streamed the Sunday. It might be a chatting stream so. or a gaming stream. I'm not too sure yet till we get to the Sunday. But yeah, I know. Like next week uh, when I stream on Wednesday, not on Mr. Carlo or my account, I'm gonna not stream just because I have. To, I'm gonna use the day to record a video. So, gotta remind myself to make a, a, a post about that next week. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go eat some chicken nuggies. Some Pokemon chicken nuggies. Oh. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have some dinner and I'm, I need to pee really bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy we finally got through the game and actually got all of us got dates for once. God, what are we gonna play next? Uh, that's That's a better question. There's Monster Camp Road Trip. Oh, true. There's Road Trip. I, I don't really think I have that game yet. Oh, well. well get it, I think we got the... Because we had early access to it. Oh, we did, didn't we? Because we we're obsessed with this game. Anywho, I'm going to end stream now. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> okay, bye, everyone. Bye.